Hi all. I know it's been a while since I've done a video, but I'm still having issues with my camera and all that. But I thought I would do a quick one to kind of recap the projects that I've been doing. And then I'm going to show you um, something else too on how to do transfers onto a glass jar. So the first thing I'm going to show you is this wallet. It is made from plastic canvas. Now my mother had made the actual plastic canvas or something else before she passed away quite a few years before and so I wanted to do something with it so I took yarn and I sewed up the two sides and around for a border and I put a snap on it and it's nothing fancy I can just put whatever in there there's no pockets or anything but then I found a button and I just put that on there I still have to you know uh, shape it a little bit so that these sides will stay down it, looking at it, I instantly think of my mom. So I'm loving that. The next thing I did was, even though it's not in season, it's a little early, but I wanted to see if I could make a kind of a box or a basket out of cardboard. So I made a little Easter basket. And this is done out of cardboard. And the yellow is cardstock. Um, and the green is um, construction paper. And then I put beads on it. And I cut out some little circles out of a paper punch, and I glued some stars on that. And then I made a couple of bows and glued them together. And I really think it turned out pretty darn cute. And so I'm going to be making some more of these. I'm going to tweak it just a little bit. Um, there's going to be a few things that I think I would have preferred a different way. And so I'm going to try to do one for Thanksgiving definitely going to do some for Christmas and as I should get it figured out once I get my final pattern and technique figured out I will show you how to make it it was so simple and quick I mean it took less than a couple of hours all right and then I don't know if I showed this one already or not but I had just a plain wooden box that I wanted to I was going to decoupage the whole thing so I got this side done and I was happy, and I got that side done and I was happy, and I tried to do the main two sides, I was not so happy. So I took it off and I put a ribbon and some sparklies on it, and then I made another bow. I'm really into making those bows, I'm going to show you those too, maybe on a different video. So now I have a really pretty sparkly box that I absolutely adore. And today I got up. And I also made a sign for my window to hang in my window that says Happy Thanksgiving. I posted a picture of that already. And then I had a box that I wanted to put just a few incidentals in it, you know, like buttons or whatever. Um, and so I painted it purple and blue. Well, I painted it purple, but I did a few streets with blue. And I put a whole bunch of different little stickers on it. Um, it says Girly Girl. And then this side has purses and dresses and a lipstick. And then this was this girl's night and a lipstick. And then a few little sachet things. And I just thought, well, that's just the cutest little thing I can keep near here to keep. Like I said, just little bits and, and pieces because we all know I throw away nothing. So then I've been trying... I've had these glass jars, these huge glass pickle jars, and I've been trying quite a long time to figure out what to do with these things. And the first one I tried, um, I took the lid and I put, I glued Christmas decorations on it, and then I put the glass jar back on it, and I put newspaper, you know, glued in newspaper, and then I painted it. I hated it. I absolutely hated it. So I took the tops out of that. And I also tried one where I just painted, I just didn't like it. And I set them all aside. I got really frustrated, but I kept the tops and made them into decorations. I'm pretty sure I have pictures on Facebook or somewhere of those. And I, and I really like those now. They'll be set out in my decorations. And then I woke up this morning and I thought, I'm going to paint one purple. I do not know why it came into my head, but it did. So, I painted it purple. Well, it turned out a little brighter than I expected. Oh, I had also forgot about this. I had started to eat, wrap it in yarn. I thought I'd wrap the whole dang thing in yarn and decorate it. No. I mean, it was working, but I had no patience for that 
whatsoever. So I took the one that I started because I glued that yarn on there and I painted it purple because there's actually because there's purple in the yarn. So that's why purple. I forgot about that. So then it turned out a lot brighter than I thought. I mean, look at this thing. It is really, really, really bright. And so then I had some stickers, some flowers and butterflies. Um, it says, uh, the sweet life and our, our happy home and stuff like that. And you are my sunshine. Well, then I thought, you know, and I keep, and I put it on my table and I thought, it's missing something. So then, of course, I had to make a bow. So I made a bow, but it was a little too light in color. It didn't really show up. So then I made another bow to put on top of that bow. But then I had my glass lid, the glass part, just pure glass. And then I had some sewing ribbon. So I put that on there. One minute. So I took the ribbon, wrapped that around there a couple times. And when I made my bow, I used my twine to tie it. So I put twine on this. Well, then... I'm looking through my stuff, and I thought I had some more stickers, some flower stickers, and they had some of the colors of the top in it. So I thought, let's put them on. Well, they weren't stickers. They're transfers. I, I love transfers. I just love them. They work so easy. So this one right here, that's a transfer. And there's a little one here. It's hard to see. And I'm going to put one here. And I thought, well, I'll show you how it's done. And then that way, um, maybe, just in case somebody didn't know. So it comes like this, this particular kind. And basically, it's a clear piece of paper on top of another one. So you, tape, you peel it off. And I'm going to put this whole thing, even the word friends. And I'm going to put it, like, right about here, because this spot is... So I'm going to put it there. So you choose your spot. This ought to be interesting doing that upside down. Okay. So you choose your spot. And then when you're cutting your transfers out, you make sure you're, you cut around it wide enough where you got something to hold on to. It makes life much easier. And then you lay it where you want. And you take a paper. I'm not going into the chart. You take a popsicle stick or anything that has like an edge to it. And you start rubbing and the first rub is kind of a quick rub, nothing too major, and it kind of helps the transfer paper stick to whatever you're putting it on. Then you take the end of it, and you kind of really rub it in good. And basically, when it's coming off the paper and onto your jar, you can tell because the color changes. It gets a lot lighter. And so you do the whole thing until it looks like it's all off. This will take me just a minute because I'm doing it. Uh, well, I'm not facing it, so not necessarily backwards, but normally this would be set on the table and facing me, which would make my life a lot simpler. And I use the edges, the, the like the very tip edge. Um, I find that it comes off easier than trying to use like the whole straight edge. It's a lot easier to for me to control and go into certain spots. And I've got the word friends. Okay, so that looks pretty darn good. So now you have to peel this off. I suggest you have to go very, very slowly and just take a corner and start peeling it. If the transfer starts to come up with the paper, stop and just rub it a little bit more. And that way, like right there, especially on the rounded edge, Sometimes it's hard to get it to stick really good. And if you don't do it this way, part of it will stay onto the hair on your, on your paper. And trying to line it up can be a, a pain and to get it off just right. Or you might tear the decal or whatever it is. So just take your time. Go slow. And voila. You have a transfer. Okay, well that is enough for this particular video um, I'm going to come do another one where I'm going to show you the bows one more time because these bows are just fantastic so until then have a good day and see you next time